Um, so, yeah, um, I really, um, so guys, yeah, um, sorry about that, um, this is a Halloween 2 limited edition steelbook, this is now long out of print, it's really, really become quite expensive now, um, it's the edition with the sound chip, I'll just let it play for you there, um, really cool stuff, um, it's still sealed, Um, so yeah, um, there you go, the eyes light up, plays a the theme tune, what more can you ask for, it's still sealed, I do not plan to open it again, I have multiple editions of Halloween to, you know, to, um, you know, to watch, so, um, yeah, so next up we have my Anchor Bay Halloween 410, which I've had for quite a while now, um, these are still, you can still get these floating about eBay and stuff, um, but the, the, some places are a little bit expensive, sometimes you can pick them up, you know, a little bit cheaper than usual, but they are, you can still get them, they are still about, even though they're supposedly limited to so many, um, you can still pick up the odd one or two here and there, um, Halloween 5, of course, as well, limited edition Anchor Bay tint. Um, really cool tins, really, really cool ones to have in the collection. Um, last stop for my tins and steelbooks is the Marketing Films Perfect Collection with the little embossed cover Michael's face on the front. Absolutely stunning tint. Um, really great stuff, it's a 25th anniversary edition, um, it's four discs as well, I'll just quickly open up the front, um, comes with a little flasher, um, pumpkin flasher, it also comes with um, a little film cell, it's limited to 6,000, so yeah, um, it comes with a little booklet as well, there you have the there you have the booklet, and there you have the front of the DVD itself. Um, so yeah, um, it's four discs, comes with a soundtrack and everything. So yeah, really cool stuff. Um, the limited edition perfect collection tint. So yeah guys, um, just bear with me a second and we'll go on to the next part of the video. So yeah guys, back again, um, this time we're going to take a look at my Halloween 2 editions, um, not including the ones that I have in my sets and box sets um, that I have, I'll be leaving my box sets till last, um, my sets and box sets till last, so yeah, um, next up these are my Halloween 2 editions, I just want to quickly show you this first of all. This is the Death Waltz Records um, limited edition vinyl um, that I got this month as well. I've been after this for a while. I would love to get the first one, you know, to go along with this. It comes with a poster and everything. It's a really, really excellent piece to own if you're a fan of the franchise um so yeah it's the as i said it's from death waltz records it's the halloween 2 clear vinyl limited edition um vinyl i love the cover the artwork is absolutely brilliant um so yeah that's that um next up we have the one of the very first editions of Halloween 2 I ever got. It's the Good Times Snapper Case release of Halloween 2. Um, I still love that edition. 
I don't know what it is about it, I just love it, I love the cover, you know, um, we have a regular edition of Halloween 2 from the UK, um, another UK release, um, pretty standard DVD release from the UK, um, I don't like the cover art for that one, but, you know, it's another addition to have in the collection. Um, this one here is the Universal um, widescreen DVD release of Halloween 2. Um, and going down we have the German Digipack um, release of Halloween 2. I really love this edition. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, some really cool images inside as well. Um, really, really cool stuff. Um, you know, there's also an excellent image on the back of Michael putting the needle into um, the nurse's head. Um, so, yeah, really, really cool addition to own. Um, great stuff. Next up, we have the Universal DVD 30th Anniversary Edition, which has the... Terror on the Isles um, documentary as an extra, which is really, really, a, a really good watch, actually. Really cool watch. Um, we have the Screen Factory 2 Disc Collectors Edition Blu-ray, of course, which I'll be showing you, which is in my box set as well. So, yeah. Um, this is the Spanish Digipack release. I really love this edition. I think this is really, really cool. Um, I will just try and um, slide it out of the casing a little bit and let you quickly see the inside. It is absolutely stunning Digipack release. Um, this is from Spain. Um, really, really cool stuff. It comes with an excellent little booklet as well. There you have the booklet. Um, really cool stuff. So, yep. Yeah, um, and it just slots, the booklet just slots into, here you have a cool image there. Um, so, yeah, a really, really lovely edition from um, Spain, which I really love. Um, really cool edition. So yeah, guys, that's my um, that's my Halloween two um, editions DVD, Blu-ray, and my limited edition vinyl. Um, you've already seen the steelbook. Um, you've already seen the steelbooks I own of Halloween two as well. Um, like I said. I have the Scream Factory box set, which um, we'll be showing last. Um, so yeah, next up, uh, we're going to delve into the next load from my Halloween franchise collection. So yeah, bear with me. Hey guys, um, back again. Next up is delving into... I'm just going to go through these kind of random now because... I do have a lot to get through, so um, next up is two or three editions of Halloween 6. Um, of course, this one here, the DVD edition, is a bootleg. It's the, you know, the one that was doing the rounds quite a few years back. Um, you know, quite a few years ago, you know, the producers cut. Um, a really cool edition to have um, so yeah um, I really love the artwork um, it's really cool um, so yeah that's the Curse of Michael Myers the producers cut special edition bootleg of course um, and next up we have these two editions this one I picked up recently, this is from Amazon France, I really love the artwork, it's really cool, um, it's not the producer's cut, it's just the regular theatrical cut, 
but I really love the artwork on it. I think it's pretty cool. Just op quickly open it up. There you have the disc. Um, so yeah, um, that's I really love the artwork on that. It was really cheap as well, which made me also get it, and I wanted to add to the Halloween franchise collection. So really, really cool stuff. Um, and of course, last up, Halloween 6 is the unrated producer's cut, which you can get pretty cheap still. Now, um, really, really cool cover, love the artwork, um, and yeah, um, really good stuff. Doesn't come with any extras, as all the extras are on the, you know, all the extras are on the um, Scream Factory box set release. Um, so yeah, um, those are the editions of Halloween 6 in the collection. Um, so yeah, jump on to the next part of the video guys and let you see what's next. Okay guys, um, here we go. Next up is my Halloween H2 editions on DVD and Blu-ray. A um, couple of really nice editions on Blu-ray there. Um, one's a German release and the this one here I'd recently picked up as well. It's a French release. Um, it's really cool. I love that red cover art. Really, really nice. Um, it was picked up in Amazon France and like I said, it was pretty cheap. Um, there you have the disc. Um, really cool stuff, just swing it over and there you have the back um, of course it does have the extras that are always on H2O I really love the artwork for it, really really cool um, yeah really cool stuff, this, as I said this is a German release this one It's our, this one also is a reversible sleeve but I'm not a big fan of the reversible sleeve to be honest the big pumpkin in the background um, so yeah um, also have a French release on DVD of H2O um, US Dimension Collector Series release UK release and I'm pretty sure this is a German release of H2O on DVD yeah this is a German release um so yeah that's um my editions of Halloween H2O guys next up is my only apart from my hard box this is really the only individual release of Halloween 3 that I own it's the Scream Factory Collector's Edition with slipcase um, really excellent edition by the way, really really cool um, you know, bar a load of extras on there um, as I said, apart from my hard box this is really the only individual release that I own apart from the one that's in the box, Scream Factory box set so yeah, that's um, Halloween 3 okay guys Next up, we I'm going to do this um going to do this next um this is going to be Halloween 4 and 5 together. These are my additions. Um you've already seen my steel tins of 4 and 5. Um I also the steel book of Halloween 4. Um so yeah, um, these are my DVD editions of 4 and 5, just quickly go through them, you have the special Divi Max edition, you have a French release which I absolutely love the cover art for, really cool, um, you have a standard UK release with nothing really on it to, extras wise to speak of. And then you have the Anchor Bay Special Edition UK release. Really quite like that one actually, really cool. Um, 
On to part five, you have a regular um, standard DVD release. And then you have the UK Anchor Bay Special Edition release. Um, I like the cover art on that one. And you have, of course, the Divi Max Special Edition Region 1 DVD. Um, so yeah, that's um, my editions of 4 and 5 on DVD. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Um, next up is... The pretty regular standard UK release of Resurrection on DVD. Um, you've already seen my Resurrection media book. Um, I have another edition of this on DVD, but it's inside a box set, which I'll show you um, pretty shortly. Um, like I said, standard UK release, it comes with the extras. Um, you know, wasn't a big fan of the film. The film was, you know, one of the worst in the franchise. It looked rushed. It was really terrible. Um, but yeah, um, pretty basic standard UK release of Resurrection. Um, next up, guys, I'm going to pull these over and let you see these. These are the only editions, apart from the ones in the box set that I own, of Rob Zombie's Halloween and Halloween 2. Like I said, apart from the Scream Factory box set, um, I got this. This is just another new one I recently picked up over the course of October. Um, it's the 3 disc limited edition, collector's edition. Um... You know, I'm not going to open it and, you know, we've seen a load of videos on what it contains. It's um, a really cool box set. It comes with a poster, some art, um, art cards and stuff. Um, three disc. You know, some really cool artwork on the actual Digipark um, casing. Um, so, yeah, that's the limited edition three disc box set, director's cut. Um, and then we have the pretty shitty sequel of Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Really, really hated that film. It really fucking ruined the whole, you know, just ruined the whole thing with the franchise for me. Um, I did like his first remake. I thought the remake of the first one was pretty good. Um, this one at the end is a release. It comes with a slip case. It's the unrated director's cut from Hong Kong. Um, like I said, it comes in a slip case. Um, it's a really cool little edition, but there is no extras to speak of on this. Obviously because it's, you know, from Hong Kong. It's a really cool edition, actually. Really pretty. Quite like this. Got it really cheap on eBay. So I was quite happy to take it. Um, so yeah, that's the... Um, that's my Rob Zombie editions to speak of. Of the Halloween franchise. Okay, guys. Before I get into the last part of my Halloween franchise collection video which is going to contain all the DVDs, Blu-rays of the original movie. I'm going to leave them to last. Um, and then after that, I'm going to do my... quickly go through my VHS. Um, so, yeah, um, let's quickly get on with this. This is my box sets and sets that I own. Um, I've already showed you my wooden box uh, media book. Um, this is a UK Anchor Bay complete collection, um, which is a cool set to own. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, delve into it too much. It's a really cool edition. Yeah, the outer box is a little bit tatty, but it really is a cool, cool edition to have in the collection. Um, it's really actually. I think it's become quite a rare one now, this. I've seen it 
go for pretty silly money on the likes of eBay and stuff. Um, it's right up to Halloween Resurrection. Um, really excellent box set to have actually. It comes with, you know, there's a little booklet in it, but nothing really, nothing in terms of extras, to be honest with you. But it is an excellent box set to own. And it is pretty rare now, this one, so, um, yeah. Now could be this box set from the UK, really cool. Um, next up, guys, is this. This is one of my favourite sets in my whole collection. This is the 30th anniversary commemorative set. I really love this box set. It really just is one of the best DVD box sets you will ever own, to be perfectly honest. It's got some really cool artwork in it, on it as well. Um, some cool stuff on the back. The, the one thing I was, it's limited, of course, to 20,000. This is number 7,262. Um, one thing I was quite surprised with, it doesn't contain um, Halloween 2, which was a strange one, but, you know... It is what it is, it's still an excellent box set to own, um, really, really cool. Um, and actually, the disc inside, I still have sealed, it's not open, and I do plan to keep it sealed, to be perfectly honest. Um, I love that artwork, Michael's mask on the front is really, really cool. Really, really cool. Um... So yeah, um, that's the thirtieth anniversary um, commemorative set that I have in my collection. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Really, really cool. Um, and of course, little rubber mask on the front. So yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, as I was saying earlier, I have this, I picked up this little box set. Um, nothing really spectacular about it. It's got the Curse of Michael Myers and Resurrection. A strange... A strange um, couple of ones to have on it, you know, but that's what it is. Um, Resurrection has extras, Curse of Michael Myers doesn't. Um, Although I do love the artwork for the curse of Michael Myers on this UK DVD. I really love that cover. Really nice. Um, so yeah, um, it really is a, a cool box set, you know. Um, nothing major about it. I actually quite like the artwork on the front of that box. Really cool. Um, picked up on eBay for about three or four quid. So I wasn't going to complain too much. Um, last stop for my box sets and stuff is this absolute classic box set. It's the 15 disc deluxe edition, which I will be watching later, um, once I start watching the Halloween franchise later. Um, today, um, I still have my pumpkin to carve, of course, but, you know... Um, this is the Scream Factory box set, it contains them all in there. Um, Halloween 6 as well contains both theatrical and producer cut and comes with a shed load of extras. Great. When this first came out, I really had to have this. There was no way I wasn't going to miss out on this box set. It really is one of the best box sets out there, in my opinion. Um, it has some really cool artwork as well. Um, really fantastic stuff. Um, really, really cool. Like I said, it's one of the best box sets. For me, it's one of the best ever released. Um, franchise box sets that is ever released. So, yeah. Um, so, guys, that's my box sets and sets that I have. My Halloween collection. Next up, we'll be taking a look at my original Halloween editions of the original movie so yeah and then we'll go into my vhs and then we'll wrap up 
the second part of my Halloween franchise collection video. I've it's jumped on to a second it, it's hard to jump on to a second part of the video because I didn't have enough obviously I reached the maximum file whatever it is on the video so it'll probably go on to another part so it'll probably be I'll have to upload my Halloween V uh, my Halloween franchise collection in three parts. Hopefully not, but I probably will. So I'm just I didn't notice it to start with, but you know, that's the way it's done it. So um so yeah, um next up like I said will be my original um all my DVDs and Blu-rays of the original film. And then we'll go into lastly my VHS. So yeah guys, um bear with me. Yeah guys, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, um back again. Um on to like I was saying before I paused the video to go into this um to let you see my editions of the original movie that I own on DVD and Blu-ray. Um this is probably this my Halloween franchise collection is probably gonna be uploaded now in three different parts as it only gets to so I can only store so much you know and then it reaches its maximum limit and then it jumps on to another it automatically jumps on to another video so after like you know I, I think it's every 30 minutes or something like that so it's this bloody phone I'm using it's looking a bit bucked up but you know it is what it is if I've got to upload it in two or three parts then fair enough um you will notice a break at the end of the first video um and it just jumps onto the the second so I thought I would get all that and you know and let it be known that you know I didn't notice it to start with but you know it is what it is so yeah back to my Halloween franchise collection these are all the editions that I own of the original movie on DVD and Blu-ray. Like I said, I'll be doing my VHS. They'll be they'll be done last. So yeah, um, let's get on with this. Um, first of all, this is the H25 25th anniversary edition, the US Divi Max release. This is still one of the f my best and one of my favourite editions on DVD of the original movie. I absolutely love this edition. I think it's still one of the best. Along with the limited edition lenticular, it's the kinda, you know, shiny sleeve as well. You know, this one, kinda shiny sleeve. Um, so, yeah, that's the H25 Divi Max Region 1 DVD. Um, next up we have a single disc digitally THX mastered release with just Michael's face on the front. Um, it's got Halloween Unmasked documentary, behind the scenes stills gallery, you know, all the usual that's on a lot of the other um, DVD releases. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a, also Region 1, um, Anchor Bay release so yeah um really cool edition really cool stuff um next up this is also one of my favorites on dvd the extended edition i love this cover art really really cool um of course nothing really in terms of um extras widescreen presentation um it's region one of course um Region Zero, whatever. Um, it's of course the television extended version. Um, it gets a lot of hate, I think, the extended version, extended edition. But I, I do like it. I think it's all right. Um, you know, I love the cover art for that one as well. So yeah, um, this is the Strongbow. Um, this is a UK 
Strongbow promo release of the original Halloween. As you can see, there is no extras on this. That's because this was a promo release. Um, Strongbow released two or three different films, horror films, as promo edition. I also have an Evil Dead one, which is still sealed, which doesn't contain any extras because it's obviously a promo. Um, I'll just quickly open it up. Um, nothing, just, it's is the new Anchor Bay logo actually that's inside it. Um, but yeah, it's the promo release that doesn't contain any of the extras. Um, so yeah, um, pretty cool stuff all the same. Now, these are the ones I love. Um, the limited edition lenticulars. Um, I still love these editions. These are absolutely fantastic. Now, the reason I have two of these is because both of them have different postcards inside. Um, they are really, really cool editions. Still one of the best to own um, on DVD. Um, so, yeah, um, really, really cool stuff. And there you have the other one, which is the television version of the film. Um, and, of course, you have the back. Pretty much the same as the UK. The one that they, re they released in the UK as well. So, yeah, like I said, I have two of these editions. And two of them which I will be keeping, of course. Um, on to the lenticular UK release which is basically the same as the one I just showed you. Contains the, it's got the booklet. Um, it also, um, trailer, again, Halloween on Mars documentary. Um, so, yeah, um, really cool stuff, UK Anchor Bay release. Next up is a UK Divi Max release of the 25th Anniversary Edition. Um, this is the one it has a cut above the rest um, documentary on it. Um, some really excellent extras. Still another favourite on DVD. Um, so yeah, uh, this one is the Horror Legacy, the Anchor Bay Horror Legacy series with the slipcase. Um, nothing really, you know, to write home about. I just wanted this one solely for the fact that I had the slipcase. I'd been after this one for quite a little while and I managed to get it from a guy in Canada.